I am Anil Kumar and now we will solve linear equations where fractions are involved. In these linear equations I have the variable in the denominator. Let us see how to solve them. There are four questions. I will do two. The other two are for you to practice. The first one here is x divided by x plus 1 equals to 2. Then we have x divided by 3x minus 5 equals to half. 3x divided by x minus 4 equals to 5 minus x divided by 2x minus 1 equals to 2. These are for you to practice, right? So let me write these numbers as C and D, right? Okay. Now let us begin by solving this. First step is, as you know, cross multiply. So first step we will do cross multiplication, right? So whenever you have ratios, that is the best way to go about. So we have x on the left side equals to 2 times x plus 1 on the right side. Let's open the bracket using distributive property. So we have 2x plus 2. Now let's take away 2 from both sides. Uh, so we'll have, uh, or we can bring x on this side also. So what I'm trying to do at this stage is that we'll in fact do minus 2 here equals to 2x minus x. We'll bring this x to the right side. So the variables on the right side. 2x minus x is x which is equals to minus 2. That becomes our solution, right? You can actually check your solution. x is minus 2. So on the left side, we'll put minus 2 for x divided by minus 2 plus 1. So we get minus 2 divided by minus 1 and that is indeed equals to 2, right? So as expected. So that is how you should be solving. Let's do once again the second question now this time. 2 times x is what you get on the left side. 1 times 3x minus 5 is on the right side. 3x minus 5. Bring the variables together and constants on the left side. In this case, I'm bringing variables to the right side. So I can write this as 5 equals to 3x minus 2x. That gives us x is equals to 5. You can actually check your solution also x is 5. If I write 5 here, I get 5 divided by 3 times 5 minus 5. That gives me 5 divided by 3 times 5 is 15 minus 5. So it is 5 divided by 15 minus 5 is 10, which is indeed half, which is the right side. So if left side is equal to right side for the given value of x, we say that that value of x is the solution for the equation. That is how you need to solve. You may check your solution also. Try with these two questions. Thank you and all the best.